NVIDIA being larger than global GDP and at 100 PE, and everyone's saying there's no way it can be stopped, but because everyone wants to sell NVIDIA and try to call a top, I actually think there's still a lot of upside. When I hear anecdotes, like I heard at a fundraising thing the other night about how all the local kids own NVIDIA, I th what, what should I think when I hear that kind of information? Well, you know, it makes sense. I mean, NVIDIA is the largest stock, so I mean, everyone should own it. It's almost like if someone said, I'm selling because everyone owns the S&P. I mean, so I think with NVIDIA, you have to be patient and, you know, you don't have to go all in right here, right now. Um, you know, when momentum starts to, to roll both on the upside as well as on the downside, it tends to continue a little bit. So, you know, for investors, we think you should get comfortable with some of the volatility. If you don't like seeing the stock down six to seven percent on a daily basis, it, sh it shouldn't be something that, um, you know, you should put in your portfolio. However, you know, the long term aspect and again, depending upon your time frame, you know, it could be a great opportunity simply because, you know, AI has very long legs, especially as so many companies are investing in what the potential could be with AI. Uh, Silicon, and uh, that is, I think the ecosystem NVIDIA is uh, pioneered and created, and they are just at the start of uh, their Gen 2 product, uh, Blackwell, uh, which will really start to uh, kickstart this phase two of AI. So I think that's very important to realize that even though the numbers have gotten very big, we are still at the start of uh, this deployment phase. When it comes to ownership, uh, what our strategy team, uh, led by Savita, have uh, found out is that if you take a snapshot of uh, active uh, long-only fund managers across the U.S., that uh, yes, a lot of them own NVIDIA, but the weightage with which they own NVIDIA stock relative to its weight in the S&P 500 is essentially just market weight, um, right? So even though it is one of the fastest growing stocks in, in our uh, coverage and across uh, technology, it's not actually a, among the largest holdings in a number of uh, actively managed funds. So we do think there is scope for both a better earnings upside and, of course, a lot more uh, weighting in investor portfolios. Trouble with NVIDIA's new chip deliveries due to design flaw. Big tech may be hit NVIDIA informed Microsoft this week about a delay affecting the most advanced AI chip models in the Blackwell series. The chips may be delayed by three months or more, potentially impacting NVIDIA's customers, including Meta, Google and. As a result, Substantial shipments of these chips are not expected until the first quarter of 2025. Despite these delays, a spokesperson for NVIDIA stated that production is on track to ramp later this year, but declined to comment on communications with customers. So that's why I think it's, it's um, uh, you know, uh, interesting to see when people try and predict the peak of this uh, cycle, when some of the largest technology companies on the planet don't even have a large language model that is rolled out and is being adopted in uh, full scale. So that's uh, point number one. This one thing will be NVIDIA's biggest growth driver yet. First, a quick note on NVIDIA's path to this point. Several years ago, the company was a giant in the video games market, with its GPUs bringing games to life on the screen for players. It became clear, though, that NVIDIA's GPUs could be valuable across industries for many users, particularly AI. The tech company decided to focus on this high growth industry, designing GPUs for those building AI platforms. I think point number two is that uh, the demand of which started from the cloud providers, I think will slowly start to expand into enterprises. There are a number of enterprises across a number of verticals, uh, whether it's healthcare, whether it's financial services, uh, transportation, retail. They also want to extract insights uh, from all the data that they have. And a lot of times they want to do it on premise. Five big analyst AI moves NVIDIA in a bubble, says hedge fund Intel downgraded. Elliott Management said Friday that NVIDIA stock is in a bubble and the AI technology causing it is overhyped according to a letter seen by the Financial Times. Elliott raised concerns about the longevity of high volume purchases of NVIDIA's graphics processing units by big tech companies, suggesting that mega cap tech stocks, including NVIDIA itself, are in bubble land. The hedge fund noted that AI is overhyped with many applications not ready for prime time. It argued that numerous AI applications are never going to be cost efficient, are never going to actually work right, will take up too much energy, or will prove to be untrustworthy. And number three, look at the demand that is just starting from all the sovereign uh, countries, right? Each one who wants to have their own la set of large language models. NVIDIA delays Blackwell GPUs impacting hyperscaler data center plans. Google has ordered more than 400,000 GB200 chips, 
the information reports, in a deal valued well north of $10 billion. Meta also has a $10 B in order, while Microsoft was expecting to have 5565,000 GB2000 GPUs ready for OpenAI by the first quarter. That now seems unlikely. The production issue was discovered by manufacturer TSMC and involves the processor a die that connects two Blackwell GPUs on a GB200. This advanced computing, um, what they call AI factories, um, I think this is driving a lot of interest in NVIDIA and its technology. And honestly, from what we're seeing, it's that demand is so high, we're not sure NVIDIA can even keep up. And so I think that that is the story. It's a great spot to be if you're NVIDIA. And this, you know, whenever we break this down for how will market react to NVIDIA AI chip news? The stock market rally suffered serious damage this past week. The key indexes all look damaged. Breakouts and setups are failing or under heavy pressure. Investors should have been reducing exposure, especially late in the week, especially if they were making buys on Wednesday. The market fear gauge suggests we could be due for a bottom, but the VIX and other psychological indicators are secondary at best to the major indexes and leading stocks. Hedge fund Elliott warns against investing in NVIDIA, calls AI overhyped. The Elliott said that many of the promised AI applications are never going to be cost efficient, are never going to actually work right, will take up too much energy, or will prove to be untrustworthy. The Elliott said the AI has not yet delivered significant productivity that its applications had promised. It further said that, that there were few real users for AI at this stage beyond summarizing notes of meetings, generating reports and helping with computer coding. NVIDIA's new China-ready GPUs face uncertainty as Washington signals more chip restrictions NVIDIA has not set a launch date for B20 GPU designed to get around export restrictions because of uncertainty around Washington's plans to update its rules. NVIDIA originally planned to start shipping the new chip in the fourth quarter, but that timeline may no longer be realistic as new concerns have risen that an expansion of export controls reportedly being considered by Washington could affect the product, one of the sources said, along with another person familiar with the matter. NVIDIA may be winding down production on its most popular gaming GPU, claims insider the GeForce RTX 3060 is very popular among gamers, even crowned the best GPU under $300. NVIDIA may be stopping production of the RTX 3060, but cards won't disappear immediately. Despite the news, there will still be time to purchase an RTX 3060 if the information is true. If the Steam charts are anything to go by, the GeForce RTX 3060 is a very popular choice among gamers. In fact, we crowned an RTX 3060 as the best overall GPU for under $300, which really says something given the competition. NVIDIA may be stopping production of the GeForce RTX 3060 admin of the forum Bubbatang. They cited accurate information stating that NVIDIA was sounding the final call for manufacturers if they wanted to purchase any more GeForce RTX 3060 cards for their systems. Fortunately, as Tom's hardware notes, this doesn't mean that RTX 3060 cards are now going to evaporate from stores, even if this rumour is true. NVIDIA still allows sales for a few months after it declares that a GPU will cease manufacture, so there will still be time to grab one if this information is true. NVIDIA beats Bitcoin in risk-adjusted returns, trend to continue? Only NVIDIA among big tech giants managed to beat Bitcoin over the last year amid a strong boom in the AI space. Global macros in play. Despite the strong tech market rally over the last year, most of the big tech giants have fallen way behind Bitcoin percentage returns on a 12-month chart. As shown in the below image, most of the big tech giants have given less than 40% returns in the same time period, while the gold returns are somewhere around 20%, per the data presented by Ecoinometrics. Is it too late to buy an NVIDIA stock? Evidence is piling up that provides a clear answer. These CapEx spending numbers and the accompanying management commentary make clear that big tech plans to continue spending big on AI. Furthermore, the fact that much of this spending will be devoted to servers and data centers suggests that NVIDIA will be the beneficiary of much of this spending. Big tech AI investment is going right to NVIDIA chart of the week. This is the takeaway from today's morning brief of Yahoo Finance. This spending is seen as a barometer for how bullish Microsoft, Amazon, Meta and Alphabet are about what AI will do for them. Though, as Julie Hyman wrote Thursday, it's a little more complicated than that, since they must go all in to even get a seat at the table. 
but the nature of supply chain dynamics means that what gathers and melts in the mountains pours into the rivers and lakes. And as our chart of the week shows, big tech is still making it rain, and NVIDIA is the lake. Google TPUs Vs. NVIDIA GPUs for AI development TPU is an ASIC that Google has designed to cater to the increasing computational requirements of machine learning algorithms. TPUs are not built around the same set of principles as GPUs and were initially designed as graphics processors but then repurposed for machine learning. GPUs contain millions of small, efficient processing cores suitable for mass parallelism. They are excellent for tasks that can be easily broken down into independent subtasks. TPUs collect tensor computations for them to perform well in tasks that require the use of a lot of tensors such as deep learning. While it is often the case that TPUs I have posted detail analysis for my Patreon member. Click the like in description to join. Apple appears to have just shunned NVIDIA again. There was no mention of NVIDIA in an Apple research paper published on Monday that discussed foundation language models developed to power Apple intelligence features. Feds put NVIDIA AI deal under antitrust scrutiny. The investigation adds to the global pressure by regulators to prevent control of artificial intelligence by just a handful of the world's largest technology companies. The companies announced the deal in late April without disclosing a price, though TechCrunch reported $700 million. Huang's fortune rises by most ever as NVIDIA comes roaring back chipmaker's CEO is now the 14th richest person in the world NVIDIA rallied as much as 14% following intense volatility. Jensen Huang added nearly $12 billion to his fortune Wednesday, a record tally to match NVIDIA's record day. NVIDIA stock is falling again. When will the slide end? NVIDIA has led the market rally for the last year and a half as the champion of the AI boom. Its hardware has become essential to run the data centers that provide computing power for AI models like ChatGPT and the rush of other AI tools coming on the market. But the company's own business continues to grow at a breakneck pace, but investors are starting to question valuations in AI stocks. Intel was once a Silicon Valley leader. How did it fall so far? The company is scrambling to shore up reserves by introducing layoffs and suspending stock dividends. But even those moves may not be enough to return the veteran tech company to its once vaunted spot as an industry leader, especially in the face of heavy competition, particularly from rival chipmaker NVIDIA. Intel's bad week really is more of a bad quarter it started back in April, when the company revealed during an investor presentation that its chip manufacturing unit had, through a series of poor decisions, sustained $7 billion in losses in 2023 on top of a 31% decrease in revenue from 2022. Cost cutting and other measures will save the company $10 billion in 2025. Better tech stock NVIDIA vs. Alphabet, meanwhile, the company maintains a solid long-term outlook. NVIDIA will post its 2025 second quarter earnings on Org. 28, and even that will likely boosting its share price. It beat Wall Street estimates for four consecutive quarters, and this quarter will likely follow suit. NVIDIA's new China-ready GPUs face uncertainty as Washington signals more chip restrictions NVIDIA has not finalized the delivery time for its latest chip designed to comply with Washington's export restrictions for China amid a potential escalation of sanctions that could derail rollout plans, industry sources said. Calculating the intrinsic value of NVIDIA Corporation NVIDIA as potential shareholders, the cost of equity is used as the discount rate, rather than the cost of capital which accounts for debt. In this calculation we've used 7.9% which is based on a levered beta of 1.308. This big bet by meta platforms will equal billions for NVIDIA and future models will continue to grow beyond that, Zuckerberg said. He didn't mention NVIDIA's GPUs during this earnings call. But considering the company's use of an NVIDIA chip so far and the fact that NVIDIA is about to launch the much-awaited Blackwell architecture and chip it's reasonable to be optimistic about orders over the long term. Especially since Zuckerberg says he prefers building capacity before it's needed. Apple just exposed a massive risk for NVIDIA stock, nearly $3 trillion valuation hinges on a critical assumption the company's utter dominance in the artificial intelligence AI accelerator market is sustainable. NVIDIA's market share has been estimated as high as 95%, and while competitors including AMD and Intel offer AI chips of their own, they've made little headway against the NVIDIA juggernaut. Is it too late to buy NVIDIA stock? Evidence is piling up that provides a clear answer the past year has been a whirlwind for NVIDIA investors. 
After generating triple-digit growth last year, the company followed that up with record results to kick off the current year. For fiscal 2025's Q1 ended April 28th, NVIDIA delivered record revenue that grew 262% year-over-year to $26 billion, fueled by record data center revenue of $22.6 billion, up 427%. NVIDIA Corp has triggered a sell signal Jeffrey's tech research analyst, recently said, while talking to CNBC said triggered a mechanical sell signal based on a moving average convergence-divergence indicator. In a technical analysis report, he stated that the stock is trading below its 50-day, moving average and exhibiting early signs of selling pressure. This, according to Mirza, shows there is a looming corrective phase lasting one to three months. NVIDIA becomes the poster child for the eight secrets of selling. No, two is key. Meanwhile, investors already sitting on big gains in NVIDIA, Meta, Microsoft and other high-flying growth stocks experience a different type of fear FOMU, or the fear of messing up. That is, the desire for even bigger gains begins to battle the fear of seeing those earlier profits significantly shrink or even disappear. NVIDIA investors should get comfortable with volatility, said Yahoo Finance Analyst Wealth Enhancement Group Senior Portfolio Manager Ayako Yoshoka joins Yahoo Finance to talk about earnings season and NVIDIA's recent moves. Sentiment and the earnings bar was very high going into earnings season, Yoshioka explains about big tech earnings. You're seeing a lot of that sort of come out just because expectations were very high and the reports were okay, but nothing great. With NVIDIA, you have to be patient. You don't have to go all in right here, right now, Yoshioka says.